Hi YouTube, welcome back to more of the Sundew. We are about to uncover a big conspiracy that might have just uh, um, shown, shown itself to us for the first time at the end of last stream. Um, the person who was uh, doing... Kitties! Kitties are fighting! <laughs> The, the the person who was checking uh, us who who was it again i forgot the name right now well in any case they got taken away by arabella and um yeah the important stuff is never listed here they got taken away by i think police officers and arabella so that was that was scary and uh, what do they fight about i don't know they are just rude they they are just picking on the weak. I think they they were mean to Tiger, but it doesn't sound like it's escalating. So I don't think I'd have to check right now. Oh, there's is there something on the floor here? We did hear something fall down, but we can't interact with this. Yeah, I didn't want you to admire yourself. What's in the box? Some analysis plates were thrown into the cardboard box. They can't be used again. <laughs> Oh no, that's bad. Hmm. I guess we'll get the name of the person who was analyzing in a second. Hi, Neo. Uh, what happened? Karen, yes, Karen. Why did Karen take off in the middle of the analysis? And why was I in a stasis for so long? Ugh. It's worse than a hangover. I don't know. Arabella came in earlier with three guys and I was disconnected. Uh -huh. When I was reconnected at 4.45 I saw that there was a problem with the analyzer. There was no way to stop it, so I forced it to malfunction. I'm shocked that, there's, that, that your circuits still work. Survival instinct. What is it? I'm a living creature thing. I'll explain later. It's a living creature thing. I'll explain later. Thanks, Neo. I'm really glad you got me out of there. I owe you one. Now it's more than just a feeling. Something's off here, but I can't look for Karen. I've got to go see the informant. Yeah, work comes first. I've got to go. I'll call Karen or Arabella from the road. I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> okay. Did we, did we check this one out yet? No, we didn't. Nice, another one. Did that just appear or has it always been there? I'm curious. Anyway, we got it now. All right then. Let's uh, let's get down. Anything we still need to do here? Oh, there we go. Anna, there was a little issue with Karen during your scan, but it was nothing serious. I'll tell you about it later. Focus on your mission. Okay, is that you, Arabella? Arabella? Arabella! She disconnected herself. Nothing serious. I was stuck in that thing for hours. Ah, that's Donna. Hi, Donna. Hey, do you know where Karen is? Hey, I like your call of booty toy. <laughs> hey, are you filling in for Jimmy? Uh, I've got to go. Uh, hey, I like your call of booty toy. I w was mentioned that I should talk to that, uh, uh, talk about that to Donna. <laughs> I like your posters and your new Call of Booty rifle. Oh yeah, I got them super cheap, not even 6,200 yen. Can you believe it? Right, that's great. And check this out. The rifle's got a transceiver inside that can send messages over a distance of 2,000 meters on a private encrypted channel. That way your parents can't listen in while you're playing. It's badass. My code's evil666. Evil666? Enough! My little brother chose it. I lost the bet. <laughs> Great, but isn't badass meant for people? How old are you again? Uh, anyway, listen, I have to... No, seriously, since it's a toy, not even the police can listen in. I tried it out. It rocks. No way. Your thing sounds dangerous. Did you tell Arabella? No, please don't. You're not funny. Nobody knows about it. It's just for kids. And you. Fine. You're right. We'll talk about it later. I'm kind of in a hurry here. Anyway, I love your new toy. 
and and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> huh. Wubert, you have a minute to talk about the 2014 game Dark Souls 2, 91 on Metacritic. What is it about Wubert being angry when you mention Dark Souls 2? Did something bad happen in Dark Souls 2? Did I miss something again? Or did I not miss it but forget about it? Might have done that. That happens frequently to me. Um, do you know where Karen is? Something crazy just happened to me in the lab. I almost died in the analyzer and I heard Karen get hauled away by some dudes. Did you see them come in this way? Or come this way? Almost died? Karen was kidnapped? Here? No, not kidnapped. They must have gone through that door up there. Forget about it. I'll tell you about it later. Are you filling in for Jimmy? Hey, is Jimmy gone? Are you replacing him? Nope, I'm his evil twin. And I the queen of Ukase. What's the Ukase? I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> Ban Wubat. Doesn't work. Twitch is a scam. Dark Souls 2 sucks. <laughs> okay, so that happened. I've gotta go. Sorry. See you soon. Not a problem, hon. See you later. Oh, cards. Let's go through Jimmy's stuff. I'm not sure Jimmy would appreciate it if I swiped his stuff. Do it! Who cares about Jimmy? Box. Uh. Alright then. Too bad you're not Boris the Corvid. <laughs> yep, yep. Too bad. And I never will be. That's okay. We still like you. A little bit less, but we still like you. Hmm, I have not seen any leaked Elden Ring footage, but if you say so... What don't you like about the leaked Elden Ring footage then? Hmm. Alright, what's on our to-do list here? Um, what's on... oh, we have to choose this. Hello Anna, which department would you like to contact you? Mm. Oh yes, we wanted to call Yuki Kobayashi still about uh, the, I don't know, was it a plan thingy convention? Yada yada. <laughs> uh, okay. Your contact does not answer. Oh yes, of course, it's Sunday. Okay. <sighs> Connect me to Karen. Your contact does not answer? Yeah. Expected something like this. Not really surprising. Uh, yeah, don't really want to talk to Arabella right now, or do I? Huh, let's do it. Does also not answer. Ah, but please answer! Okay, let's try again. Okay, that does not work. Later. Uh, so bright in comparison? Yeah, okay, that, that is true, it is. <laughs> um, I will just wait for the complete game to come out to be disappointed. I mean, I like Dark Souls 1, I think I played a bit of Dark Souls 2 and didn't hate it. Um, I think I didn't play Dark Souls 3, but I'm not the hugest of Dark Souls fans, so um, I am really interested in Elden Ring. It looks kind of cool like what I've seen, but it's not like I'm like super hyped. Um, I was a bit hyped when the first trailer came out, honestly. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, if it sucks then I won't be super disappointed. This is Rizo now. Feel old now? Hi Nida. Welcome in. <laughs> nice seeing you. Thanks. Thank you. That Rizo comment has definitely never never been done by anyone else. <laughs> I know you're aware that it definitely has been mentioned before. Yeah, how are you? Welcome in. Nice seeing you. And yes, I do feel old. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, can we now look at the to-do list? Okay, give the equipment to each hero. I thought we did that. I guess we still have to give the darts to each hero. Then we are done. Ah, Donna's toy code is evil 666. Sounds like stuff that would have appeared in a message board that Nida and I used to frequent. <laughs> Uh, I guess. guess we don't need more food. Let's just get out of here and meet the informant. Let's see how you destroy the CDU rake. So to explain for people who aren't familiar with uh, German YouTubers and politics, um, the CDU is the conservative party of Germany. Uh, Angela Merkel is uh, part of this uh, party. But she is kind of like comparatively progressive uh, and comparatively unshitty for the CDU as a whole. This whole party is just a total shit show, actually. Um, and yeah, there's this YouTuber called Rezo, and uh, Rezo happens to have uh, blue dyed hair and has made several videos on different occasions uh, uh, labeled. Um, the destruction of the CDU and uh, basically um, elaborating on a ton of facts about the shitty stuff that happens uh, within this party and is done by people in high positions in this party and hence the reference. <laughs> Rizzo does it again. <laughs> Alrighty. Hi Ichiro, wanna have some tranquilizer darts? I dropped off all the stuff. It's high time I went to the restaurant. I'm already late. Okay, so what was the plan exactly? Ichiro's gonna get the stuff to me over there and I'm gonna... I don't quite get it. Whatever. Welcome, welcome to Shibukawa Police Headquarters. Anything new out here? Any new space invaders? I don't think so. I think we might need to call another another cab. Or how do we get there? Yes, we need another bot taxi or Arabella. Nope. All right, get me a bot taxi. Dear Miss Isobe, how would you how soon would you like your bot taxi to arrive? The sooner the better, as usual. Has been booked, will be there as soon as possible. Cool stuff. Terminal. I've got five minutes to chat with Ichiro or Donna while I wait for the bot taxi. Okay. Well, Ichiro isn't here. And I don't know, Ichiro didn't want to put on metal for us, so I want to talk to Donna anyway. <laughs> I've got to go to the restaurant now. Oh, okay. Guess that was the chatting session. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Bye, Donna. Hmm? Hey kitty, what's up? Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Oh, what's this? Ah. They said it's in Minigishi Heights, right? I think it is. Could I also go to the city? I don't remember. Where do I need to go? Why is nothing important written down here? <laughs> yeah, wherever the restaurant is, I'm sure we'll get there, right? Ah, okay, can't even pick that. Alrighty. Um, well then, Minigishi Heights it is. Okay, an ad. 
The ads for Kumi luxury tights aren't particularly original, but they are effective. Okay, what are you doing there, Kiri? Don't move my stuff around. <laughs> Actually, I like all the games, but I also really like Dark Souls 2 for real, though. It's a really funny feud, though. People need feuds, if you say so. We got interesting motorcycles here. These are self-service motorcycles. Yay, the future. Ooh, a dark alley. Walking around in dark alleys at night is just asking for trouble. Eh. Well... Guess we have to put lights in all the dark alleys then. Cat bar. Cat bar opened up next to the Kuroineko. It's not a bad idea. What's the Kuroineko? Gas pipes. Okay. Interesting interaction with the gas pipes right there. Mm, there aren't a lot of tourists tonight. Maybe it's because of the rain. Okay, an airboat. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we meet the informant at the restaurant, right? So let's go into the dark alley first. Let's ask for trouble. It's pretty dark here. Suspicious man, probably drunk. Hey girl, out for a walk? Don't you know you shouldn't walk alone at night, huh? That's true. You should watch out. Trying to mess with me, Akkad? No. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that person was asking for trouble. I'll be confiscating this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, a little exercise does a world of good. Yeah, I know. It's not standard procedure. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Best police officer. Or not? Rick's got a knife. I'm not sure if I had the knife or if the person there tried to pull a knife on me because... I don't know if this protagonist, cyborg, with super strength and all of that would even need a knife. So uh, I've already been there. I don't really have time to wander around the street any longer. I've got things to do. Okay, so no more beating up, um, beating up dangerous predators. That actually is the best thing you can do. All right then, people. These people are waiting to get into the Kuroi Neko. There must be a show tonight. Okay. Mm, now in stores, Call of Booty. F no, it's Call of Booty just. Oh no, it's Call of Booty 6, of course. Yeah. Call of Booty 6. De Pato. <laughs> this was not translated, I guess. <laughs> I don't think we want to depart, though. Uh, entrance to the Kuroi Neko. Hmm, guess we can't get in there. So do we meet the person in the cat bar, or do we just exit this area? I'll go another time. This isn't where my rendezvous is. Interesting line at the cat cafe. It's the Kuroi Neko. It's next to the cat cafe. But yes, interesting line indeed. <laughs> I mean, either this is just regular attire in the future, or it's kind of a kinky party. Who knows? <laughs> hmm. Ah, there we go to the restaurant, but what is this? Well, that's a secondary entrance. I wonder why it's closed. I'd be surprised if the store was already closed at this hour. Then again, I don't need anything tonight, aside from finding out who I've got to put to sleep. Yeah, don't ask questions, do your job. 
Ugh. Also, can we reach Arabella? Nope. Alright, so much for calling from the road residences. Ladder. This ladder leads to the canal and over the rooftops of the houses and restaurant. But it doesn't lead to Depato's roof. Oh, so it is translated, it's just the name of the restaurant, I guess. Depato? Okay, got it. it sounded like depart, I don't know. Uh, like leave the area or something. But as I've said, my French is more than rusty. Pretty much non-existent at this point. Um, and I thought it might be French because French developer, but I guess not. Also, it doesn't really look that French on second glance now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. From here, I can't see if the informant has arrived. Mm hmm. Anything else to look at? Ah, the residences. Now we can't really look at them. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to meet the informant. Departo means department store normally. Oh, okay. <laughs> this means cat butt normally. Alright, let's uh, try to go to the restaurant then. Ooh, Cthulhu! I guess this means it's Cthulhu time. Come on, Mr. Cat. Cat butt! <laughs> Cthulhu time! Kinda transparent Cthulhu. But hey. This this needs to be Cthulhu time. And kitty time. Uh. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> You're such a baby. You are a huge baby. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe you have to tell Wubat more about Dark Souls, especially the second part of the series. I, I've heard that Wubat is pretty interested in that one. Hmm. Such a cuddly little kitty! And I've got your hair in my face again. Everywhere. Hmm? Just <laughs> laid down on my arm. Now I think. Uh, I'm allowed to continue, am I? Yeah, maybe I'll put this somewhere here for now. Let's see. Don't really dislike to that much. I just like it the least. But it's fun overreacting. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Acceptable. Okay, let's look at the clients. I hope these cybernetic clothes will go out of style soon. There's no point, and they're hideous. Uh, I mean, I find that they are not useful and not necessarily very flattering. One million <laughs> years dungeon! You will love it at some point. Yeah. It's fun overreacting and putting people one million years into a dungeon. <laughs> all right, um, man, all alone. That's probably my my rendezvous. But let's check out everything else first. Hi, clients. Hmm, I don't have time to talk to them. Okay. Washi partition. These partitions are nice, but they won't prevent curious ears from listening in. I'll try not to talk too loudly. Window overlooking the terrace. Hmm. <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> I guess he's sitting down behind my back again. Can you make it work? Does it work like that for you? Now I lost my Cthulhu. Oh, well. Maybe some other time. Yes, yes, Boris. That is something I will have as a channel point redeem very soon. But I think it was... 
Wasn't it one million billion years in the serious room? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to have that as a as a channel point redeem and on my um, uh, the stream deck thingy too. <laughs> all right, all right. Flowering plant. These fake flowers are pretty realistic. I'd love to take one for my place. Do it, do it, do it. Toilets. Okay. Uh, all right. This guy's from Okinawa. I'm sure of it. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Bottle of sake. Hmm. To the toilets. Hello, man, all alone. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Hello, are you from Okinawa? Hmm. Maybe I should have gone to the toilets first. Nah, maybe I can later. Hello, are you from Okinawa? Hello, I think I'm supposed to be meeting you. Hello, are you expecting someone? Hello, is this seat taken? Um, are you expecting someone? Hello, yes, I'm expecting someone. Most likely you. I think so too. That's good. So, how should we go about this? It's very simple. I'm going to send you a code that you will transmit to me orally. Name Hiroaki. Type unknown, ID unknown. Ugh. Saying that out loud, that's annoying. <laughs> uh. Uh, wait, I have to play back the communication again. It was a little fast. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I've seen you before, Unity 2. Screw you. Ha ha ha, good one. Ha, I've got a real name too. Ha ha. Ha ha, on the other hand, you don't know my name. Yes, well, uh, all jokes aside, you must go to the 51st floor of the city hall through the staff entrance, located between the museum and the new building. But wait, how come your identifiers are hidden? That's impossible unless anything is possible, miss. Anything is possible. Anyways, here's a badge that will get you inside. Thanks. A badge? Well, I can see that the folks at City Hall are on the bleeding edge of technology, just like the police. In terms of security, it works as well as anything else, sometimes even better. Once you reach the 51st floor, you will walk along the outside of the offices to the last one, where your belongings are hidden. From this office, you will have a view of a balcony in City Hall's second building, on the same floor. It looks onto, the, onto a room that the target will enter in exactly 37 minutes. 37 minutes? But that's soon! 37 minutes? Not a problem. 37 minutes? Hmm, that's not much time. 37 minutes? Ah! <laughs> For someone like you, this shouldn't be a problem. Who's the target? I'm getting to that. The target is a squat, uh, overweight man with short black hair of Asi Asian, Asian origin. I uh, can't talk. <laughs> uh, he will most certainly be wearing a classic black suit and has cybernetic eyes that look like a pair of small black sunglasses. He will be with another man who is tall and thin, also wearing a black suit. You can't miss them. All right, I think I'd better get going. Thanks. Have a nice evening. What's with this? <laughs> this Hiroaki knows me too well to be nothing but a simple, uh, to be nothing but a simple informant. There's just one slight problem. I really have to go to the bathroom. Objectives. Mm, okay, we don't have the objective to go to the bathroom, but I will do it. Purr, you're going to bed. Sorry, I uh, I only read that right now. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Have a great rest of your stream and good night, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by, Purr. Looking forward to catching your next stream, hopefully. Um, yeah, sleep well. Thank you so much for spending some time here and um, yeah, looking looking forward to more Celeste soon. <laughs> uh, 
And thanks for shouting per out, kid. Very nice of you. <laughs> All right, to the outside. Azalea's. Hmm. This window leads to the outside of the restaurant. I'll take one next time. <laughs> okay. Uh, intentional damage to furniture. No future. How sad. <laughs> Alrighty. Faucet. Nice. Vapor Yak! I'm back. Hey, Rake. <laughs> Welcome in, Vapor Yak. Nice seeing you. How are you? And so nice to see that you're back. I was I was kind of checking every day if you are streaming again, always keeping my eyes open. Thank you so much for the resub. When will you be streaming again? <laughs> and how have you been in the in the meantime? I hope everything is well. Really nice to have you back. <laughs> um okay, this one is taken, I guess. So, toilet time. This toilet looks like it's out of order. Oh, great. And this one. Towel bin? There are some used towels in the bin. Cool. Hmm. So, we really need to go to the toilet, but we can't, apparently. Pee in the sink. Pee in the towel bin. Pipes. The water pipes aren't hidden in the wall. Makes them easier to repair. More pipes. Okay. Well, I guess you can't pee then. That sucks. <laughs> I was thinking there would probably be a space invader in here, but that's the man's room over there. Hmm. No space invader in here? That's weird. Good night and see you on Thursday if you can make it. I will really try. Um, like I will probably also want to stream on Thursday, but typically you stream a bit earlier than me, so I think I will at least be able to catch quite a bit of it, maybe even all of it. We'll see when I manage to start. It feels good to be back. How is everything? Um, good so far. I've like also been busy with work the past week, but this week everything is kind of fine. Not too much to do until Sunday. Not much work, so that's cool. Um, hmm, what's this letter? Um, just university also started again for me, so yeah, I am keeping busy. <laughs> this bamboo letter goes up to the roof. I think it's just for decoration. Personally, I'd never climb that kind of thing. It looks, shall we say, highly unstable. Ah, I can relate to that letter. <laughs> Why do I feel like we will have to climb it at some point? Okay, don't, don't think we are supposed to be spending time out there. Alright then, guess we can't pee. Sad. Alright then. There's a bathroom here, I might as well go now. I tried! But it did not work. What am I supposed to do? Collector's knife? Where did I get that? This, oh, from the from the fight on the street. Yeah, so I didn't have the knife. Now I have a knife. Haha. -ha. Nice collector's knife with a pretty handle, but it's not very sharp. Maybe we can use it to open this. <laughs> I'm going to avoid leaving marks everywhere. I'd rather not use this knife. Okay. Oh, we still have the hairpin. Okay. Rather give this hairpin back in good condition. I'm not going to go around using it just anywhere unless I have a lock to pick. But I mean, hmm. can we do some intentional damage to the furniture? No. Then, then what? <laughs> Seriously, we're gonna clean this mirror? 
<laughs> Oops. It would probably work better if I got the towel wet. Seriously? You're cleaning this mirror now? Why? I mean, I guess I'm doing it, but I kind of feel like that's what I gotta do right now. It's gonna be tough to clean that off the wall. Okay. So, <laughs> what did this do for us? In the towel. I like it. I'm keeping it. It's a wet towel. What, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. These plants don't need to be fat and I'm sure they like don't not sure they like this nutrient nutrient unless I want to kill them. I better not. Okay, hmm. can't can we? No. Alright. Is this a lock to pick? No. I don't get it. What are we supposed to do? I mean, we are supposed to go to the toilet, but... Mm. Pee in this plastic bag, please. <laughs> Are there any cleaning supplies? I don't know if, I mean, I'm supposed to be cleaning this place now because, I mean, yeah, they say it's gonna be tough to clean that off the wall, but I don't really see the point in doing this at all. I mean, this is in use. So, can you knock? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. And no, I am not aware of anything else that I could pick up. Calm down, this is for plants. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to give it to plants, but it's not doing much. Hmm. Oh, a court. Guess I was supposed to find this court first. Oh well. All right, maybe that was all I needed to do. I needed to get this court before I can prog uh, make make progress or something. Yeah, no, it's free. Okay, I just needed that court. <laughs> all right then. Maybe the plants are imposters. You're playing among us. Houston, we have a problem. You are disconnected. Reconnect ASAP. Penalty incurred. That's expensive. I'm disconnected from the network. This is completely unusual. Okay. Uh. Sumimasen. We got voice acting. 
<laughs> it's highly suspicious. I don't like it one bit. I'll wait a little to see if it opens again. And if it doesn't open, I'll have to find another way out of here. But first, peeing time. Oh, there's space invader there. All right, later. <laughs> Found another space invader back there. Didn't actually see it, but accidentally went over it. Oh, a pack of cigarettes. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, this is a pack of four cigarettes. It's not empty. So what's in it? Okay. Oh, well. Toilets. Oh, yeah. Just use them again. <laughs> Can never be too sure. Just pass the time by by using the toilet over and over. All right, door. I mean, you could just break it. I think you're strong enough. Actually, I think it's a good choice to have something like this to make sure the player picks everything up instead of giving the player the option to revisit the place because then you will just yeah search through every possible location for a tiny detail you might have missed so this is definitely a better way of uh, leading the player towards what they have to find i feel because i don't really enjoy hunting for tiny pieces hidden somewhere in the background I could go out that way, but the plants are in the way. I'd need to find a way to remove them so I could get through. Well, good thing I have a knife. That should work, right? I'll take me hours to cut through them. The vines are too thick and the knife isn't sharp enough. Okay. Maybe the towel is not wet anymore. Maybe the towel can help with that somehow. No. Huh. Maybe they don't like the nutrients. That might be a good idea. I need to find something that burns well so the ethanol will catch. Ooh, okay. Uh. Oh, I clicked it and then stuff came out. Okay. Uh, what a cool electronic lighter. I don't smoke, but it could be useful. It could. So the towel should be possible to, to burn well. Yuck, I'm not going to get my nice clean towel dirty. It's not really clean, but okay. Unless it's for a good reason. It is. Okay. Cigarettes and nutrients. That'll ruin the cigarettes. That would be too bad. I don't smoke, but I think they're pretty. Uh, I don't want to ruin my towel. Okay, first the towel then. No. Oh, they said the plastic bag would burn well. Okay. Ah, alrighty. I love chemistry exper experiments. Alright. What's it? Fuel. Fuel on the azaleas. And now let's light it up. Ethanol covered azaleas. I would have to be able to light it from a distance. That would be safer. Oh, well, I guess that's where this cord comes in handy. This cord would make a good wig if it was coated with something. Yeah, okay, let's dip it in this too. Yep, yep. And here we go. And it's not gonna be explosive, right? So I think you could have just lighted it up there, but all right. Maybe I should plan for something to put out the fire if it spreads indoors with tile. It's not likely, but you never know. Okay, this is really teaching. Uh, <laughs> all the all the fire precautions so the that the game doesn't set a bad example for kids plastic bags burn well well apparently they do they get kind of stinky but yeah i feel like the towel should have also worked but um yeah they want us to use the wet towel to put it out later I got a wet towel in case anything goes wrong. Here we go. What a surprise. Nothing went wrong. Experienced and talented chemist is my new achievement. Alright, let's head outside. 
I go out that way. The path is clear. Always take a towel with you. Yep, exactly. Oh, and we will have to conduit. That goes into the restaurant, but I can't see where. I've got to find another way to get to the street. Alright, the bamboo ladder. What's with the barrier? This barrier isn't in great shape. Kick it. Ladder. Hmm. Reminds me of an old French expression. Never say never, I think. No one can hear me, and my communications are still disabled. Don't have time to find another solution. I'm gonna climb this ladder and we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I know how to swim. Yeah, when I picked up the... nobody saw that. <laughs> when I... Uh, someone is obviously trying to keep me from making it to the rendezvous. Okay, um, when I picked up the plastic bags, they kind of said something like, uh, I don't know, something about it burning well. Uh, so that's what I remembered there. I'm not sure if it was just uh, when I looked at the plastic bag or while I picked it up. Something like that in any case. Cat bar, let's go in, we still have time. <laughs> All right. More in the dark alley? Uh, okay. I guess we leave then? Oh, clicked out of the game. Uh, I guess we can call it taxi now? No, we can't. Houston, we have a problem. Ah, we can just use this. Alright. So where do we need to go? Is it... They told me where it is, but I forgot everything about it. <laughs> Wasn't it at City Hall? I thought it was at City Hall and then across the street, right? That's what I got this badge for. Uh, somewhere. Do we even have this badge? Ah, badge. Photographic badge opens the museum entrance door. Wasn't that at the city hall? For place in Japan, they sure knew know Houston well. Yeah, fair. <laughs> oh, another one. Got me. Uh, I'm definitely gonna miss some of these uh, space invaders. If you see one of those somewhere, feel free to post space invader in chat. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm willing to accept help with finding all of those space invaders. Um, shopping street. Hmm, guess that's not where we go then. Hmm. Where are we going? Back into the restaurant. <laughs> to the toilets. Who locked us in there? I I think so. It's still closed. I can always go to the man's room if I need to. Oh, that's good. That's uh, that calms me. I was really worried we might not have a toilet here. Totally not worried about not making it to the rendezvous. Oh, there's one here. Ha! Another one! That's 10 of 36. I think they are the only collectible. I mean, I wasn't even expecting any collectibles, so... <laughs> Out to the street and then... Yeah, this is just broken. Maybe I should just take a motorcycle. <sighs> Seriously? That was it? Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Okay.
Thought we were going by taxi. <laughs> Shibukawa City Hall, 51st floor. <laughs> Lol indeed. Ugh, I feel stupid. Well, they are self-service. Yes, they are. And it is, it, it makes sense. I checked them out earlier and then I kind of, they blended into the background from that point on for me. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the hardest puzzles aren't puzzles at all, but Easter eggs or motorcycles. <laughs> yes, wisteria in tree form. This tree broke through the concrete and the wisteria seems to be braided. There's something I'm missing here. What's wisteria? Fail. Maple. That's a beautiful red leaf maple. Yeah, always take the time to appreciate the, the botanical things here. A panel. Staff, staff entrance. Museum entrance. Staff entrance. Deliveries. The exhibition hall. Uh, more maple. That's a maple tree, makes a nice hatch, but I'm not here to admire the trees. You are! City lights, Tory. Hmm. Ah, space invader. Noise. And a box. The box lets you insert a batch. Okay, that's the museum entrance. It's a badge. I guess I could insert my badge there, but I guess I should probably use the staff entrance. I guess that would make more sense, right? Although it's a badge, not a card. Don't have access rights to open this door. Crap, the informant told me to go through the museum entrance, but which one? Okay, so it is the side entrance here. Okay. I did it. Can't remember how it ends, but if it's anything like the others... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The one I, th I saw you play looked different from the one that we played. I'm not sure if you played We Were Here too, or We Were Here Together, or if you played all of them. Um, but... Yeah, well, the first one just ends with um, a door for which a pressure plate has to be uh, stood on and only one people, uh, one person can leave. We got a flyer. Uh, okay. Buy the gun. Ooh, the call of booty gun. Yes, I want one. For 5,000 yen, I'd rather go to a restaurant. Okay, we got another space invader. Come take a closer look. Alrighty. Sign. I only have 11 minutes left. That's not very long. I don't have time to read all the signs. I'll come back to visit the museum another time. Aww. That's a nice little antique bench, but I couldn't tell you from what period. It's not in a very good location with that panel behind it. Hmm. Stairs. Large paper mache lady. Yes, it's a work of art. I like it. She's funny with her big belly and all. <laughs> Text. That's a haiku by Ozaki Koyo. The stars have already opened their autumn eyes. You can't really translate haikus, but okay. Don't. That's the museum entrance. I don't remember Hiroaki telling me to go into the museum. I don't think it's that way. Yeah, okay, you're right. So I guess elevator would make sense, but you could get stuck in an elevator. And we're strong, so let's run the stairs. 51st floor, here we go. I think the staircase leads to the first floor. But there's no way I'm going to take the stairs up to the 51st floor. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, then get stuck in an elevator if that's what you want. We got, uh, we got uh, kanji here. Ta. 
healthcare center. They want us to believe they're taking care of the population. I'd love to keep the badge to take a look around here, just out of curiosity. So, hmm, ta. And Anna. <laughs> Alrighty, another space invader. It's dark here. Those are Kana, not Kanji. Okay, I have no clue. <laughs> um, but thanks for clarifying. What's the difference? Is Kana like a simplified version or is it just totally different? Ken, healthcare center. They want us to believe there. Yeah, yeah, we, we know that. Sign on the door. It says trade and industry promotion section. Okay. Oh, Sagi Electric again. Hm. Illuminated sign. There are a lot of stores in the streets behind it. Shibu. Kawa. Kana are sound-based syllables, the only thing that Chinese doesn't have and therefore is way too hard. I mean, if it's sound-based, then why is it hard? That sounds like it would be easier. Okay, where are we right now? Ah, uh, there we are. Cardboard box, there should be my stuff. Or large wooden crates. Perfect spot to set up. So, yeah, I thought it was supposed to be inside of... Uh, inside of a, an office or something where my stuff is stored. They said at the end of the hallway. Do I remember it correctly? I am confused. Ah, door. There we go. Noise to the offices. My equipment is here. Great. Everything is here. Perfect. All I have to do is put my coat on and off I go. Let's go. Healthy. Ooh, there! There's you, Boris! <laughs> Thanks for the explanation, Boris. I understood it better in, uh, in the game. Phew, just in time. Men are entering the room. Shoot the wrong one! Shoot the wrong one! <laughs> one short, one tall. Perfect. Wait a minute. There's a third person with them. But it's Rick! Rick, what are you doing? Who is that? Another person with silver hair or is it Rick? Fat boy, please understand that it is not possible for us to do that, Mr. Callahan. Hey, it looks like I'm connected to the rest of the world again. Incoming call. Type private. Is it you? Ah, it's Hiroaki. Change of plan. Your target is a tall Caucasian man with long blue and silver hair. Rick? But... What on earth is Rick doing here? I mean, Mr. Callahan. To understand, the message might be a fake. Rick, Mr. Callahan, I don't think we're going to be able to come to an agreement, my dear fat boy. Shoot down fat boy, shoot down Rick. Hmm. I don't know. Why do I have to make decisions? Yeah, could be fake. Everything was kind of scrambled. Let's trust the last thing we heard in person. I don't like it, but I'd rather stick to my first order. What the? Oh shit. Didn't get shot, did he? That asshole? Hey, Miki, you there? Top level sniper. Uh-oh, that's not right. Middle Zolam doesn't work instantly. Guess you killed someone. <laughs> Yikes, I'm clearing out too, and fast. 
Hmm. Alrighty. That was fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was kind of suspicious that the network connection was just reestablished and then I instantly get this call and they tell me, yeah, shoot the other person. So I feel like going with the original plan is good and I didn't kill someone I know. And I mean, they do have a fake police ID, but there's worse, worse stuff to have than a fake police ID. <laughs> um... All right, I guess, uh, do we, what do we do? What's the plan? Just leave, I guess, to the offices. No, I have to go in quickly. All right, then I guess we stop standing around. Oh, all right, that quickly to the elevator. <laughs> I hope there was no one on that bus, at least no one we know. Okay, I, I think I, I read what you wrote, but only with one eye. Kana are sound based syllables, uh, and therefore uh, therefore Chinese is way too hard. Yeah, I meant Chinese is hard because it has only Hanse, while Japanese can annotate kanji with Kana, that is called Furigana, to indicate the reading. Oh, yeah. I mean, to indicate the reading, you can also just use um, Pinyin, which works relatively well. So, that works. And yeah, learning just the pronunciation, in theory at least, and uh, no, now it's not really the time to visit the museum. I have to get out of here fast. All right, all right. Here we go. Hi. Wow, that's some welcoming committee. I think I've got a problem on my hands. Ana Isobe, you are under arrest. Of course. Hmm. Six months later, Shibukawa Sagi Electric Headquarters, 27th floor. I want to see the testimony of the last witness. It's Ichiro Ito, one of her colleagues. Yes, I know, thanks. She can no longer cause any trouble? No, the decision was handed down two weeks ago. She must be on the train to Abashiri right now. Abashiri? Yes, it's not really a dream destination. The prison has a pretty bad reputation. Oh, to say the least. I didn't think she would be sent there. But it's a very good thing. That'll teach her some discipline. What a waste. She could have worked for us. I heard it was your best unit. Why didn't you protect her? You could have had her sentence reduced at least. I had her sentence reduced. But it's better for her to be out, of, uh, out on the outs right now. She is my best unit. Some people see her as a threat and want to get rid of her. Definitely. I didn't have much choice. Personally, I just want her to calm down and not cause any more troubles. A little stay in prison won't hurt her. Otherwise, yes, I want to be kept informed on her every move. And turn off your god-awful music. It's getting on my nerves. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if we made a bad decision and it ends there, but nope. We continue here, I guess. But can't annotate a Hanse text with writing pinyin right at the Hanse, can you? You can only transcribe it. Hmm. I mean... The space is sometimes a bit limited, but <laughs> in general you can write for each single Hanse, like um, Pinyin to... But I don't know what you mean by what, what the difference would be, the annotation and the transcribing, honestly. So I don't know. Lama. 
This kind of robot is usually used in schools to monitor students and keep them in line if needed. It's equipped with cameras and a water tank. And it's got a bad temper. Ah, uh, okay. So it spits at me if I do something that's... Okay, okay, sure. From where I'm sitting I can see very well. I'm blinded by the electric arc. I don't know how secure their system is. I'm guessing he's not supposed to kill the people he's guarding. But since I'm not sure, I better not move around too much. Uh, you can only transcribe it. Okay, I guess I have to show you at some point. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Electric gantry. This gantry is used to detain and restrain the most dangerous prisoners. It's very expensive. And I've got a metal restraint on my wrists. It's kind of flattering actually, but I could have done without it. And that explains the crappy carriage we we're riding in. There was probably no budget left for the transfer. Can't do anything but wait for the train to get to Abashiri. Are you sure? Our inventory is gone. <laughs> hey Optimus, thank you so much for resubbing. <laughs> Early resub through November, I guess. <laughs> Thanks so much. Ah, it is getting a bit uncomfy on this chair. There's a kitty sitting behind me and that's not helping. But hey. Hi, Llama. I guess I can talk to the Llama. That might be nice. Screwdriver. Okay. Hey, Llama. Hey, when do we get there? Do you have a nickname by any chance? I'm hungry. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> I don't really want to talk to it after all. Well, my name is, my name is Guybrush Threepwood, obviously. <laughs> I've heard that some of these robots have copies of old video games loaded on them. I wonder if it's true. My friend Clément told me a few lines from an old game. I can't remember the name. It's not my thing, but I remember it. <laughs> Thanks for being here for a work lurk, Ed. <laughs> um, can't remember the name. It's not my thing, but I remember it. Come on. My name is Guybrush Threeprot. Prepare to die. You fight like a dairy farmer. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. You have the manners of a beggar. There are no words for how disgusting you are. <laughs> um, you fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> yes, we're dueling. <laughs> Yikes, so that story about old video games was true. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. <laughs> Look behind you, a three-headed monkey! <sighs> How awesome is that, yes. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Ah, these old lines, they still work. This robot appears to be an Olympic form. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was all we could do. Sad. <laughs> alright. I would have liked to explore all the options there, but alright. I mean, we could theoretically load, uh, I guess, could we? Damn, I can't go into the menu right now. Um, do you have a nickname by any chance? What school did you go to before you came here? My registration code is 23XP228. I worked at the National School of Police in Osaka. That was beautiful indeed. <laughs> Are you teasing me? No, I'm passing the time. It's a long ride. Yeah, a little. Wait, let me think. I don't really want to talk to that. No, I'm passing the time. It's a long ride. Well, spend your time some other other way. Thanks in advance. Hmm. Hey, when do we get there? How much farther is it? Papa Smurf? Papa what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm hungry. Catering is available in the dining car in the middle of the train. <laughs> There's a large selection of... Can you free me so I can go to the dining car? Fine, fine. I'm a little tied up now. 
Uh, yeah, I'm a little tied up now. Come on, it's fine. Don't you see that I can't go to your precious dining car? I'm a little tied up right now. Please speak to me with a different tone. No. I'm sorry, it's the stress. What are you going to do? I'm sore and thirsty too. Don't really want... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's the stress. Sorry, but my position is just a tad uncomfortable. You see, it stresses me out a bit. I don't have a stress relief feature, but I can refresh you a bit. Oh, I think we were just meant to make it spit. No, no, I'm fine. Hmm, what do you mean by that? I don't need any stress relief. Oh, no, you don't have a stress relief feature. I don't really want to turn. <laughs> uh, hmm, what do you mean by that? Refresh me. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'll show you. No! Yes. Wee! <laughs> that went well. Well, this robot is crazy. I almost got burned. Oh well, everything worked out fine. <laughs> hmm. Her death is probably gonna cost me, but I'm not sorry to be rid of that leech. Oh wait, now we can, if we are quick, might have Auto save. Yeah, we're still trapped here. Oh damn. We can't. All right. Well then. Hmm. Oh no! Did I break it? I think I broke it. I should have done a manual save, I guess. No. It auto saved mid conversation, and now the conversation is broken. Can we rewind somehow? Oh, there's also a draw counter, so I guess it's not the only collectible. We can also use our marker to draw on blank paper. Ha, ah, that's cool. Well, we learned something through this, through this horrible experience that might mean we have to replay it all. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe we've got it. I don't know. Oh? What's happening now? <laughs> what? Uh, well, we might have a chance to save the save file. But I might have to replay everything anyway, because I want to do the drawings. I totally didn't understand this counter so far, but we have seen some blank pieces of paper and we have some, we had some markers. So I guess that would have been a possibility. All right, well, we learned something by looking out of the window. Let's talk to the, okay. Ah, there we go. All right, all right, saved it, saved it. <laughs> hmm. Didn't this go differently the last time? Ah, th I'm hungry, that's the one that works. Yeah, yeah. Or is it? Uh. Yes, here we are, okay. Now it works again. All right. Phew. We're good. What was that? I mean, I guess that other person out there is gonna stop the train and free me. I suppose that's something that might happen. Leave me alone! <laughs> well, we got another one of those. What's this tank? Don't think it's a good idea to tip this tank over. I don't actually know what it's for. Well, there's liquid nitrogen in there, so... It's for cooling stuff, potentially. Hmm. Well, we got a note. It says, don't forget to unscrew the tank before you take it apart, or something like that. The handwriting is poor. 
seems to be it seems like it'd be hard to remove the hatch without some kind of tool. Oh well we got a screwdriver. <laughs> Boop. Our hands are still tight, but we should be able to use a screwdriver. Average quality screwdriver. Okay. Don't particularly want to rot in Abashiri. In any case, since the two robots got fried more or less. then Broken? Ciel. Who the heck are you? Person who looks a lot like Rick. Hmm. Well, let's talk. Rick? Mm, now you're gonna tell me what you were doing with Fat Boy. What are you doing here? You've got good timing. Pink hair looks good on you. <laughs> Pink hair does look good on you. Pink hair looks good on you. I see that you've recovered. I, on the other hand, am not doing so great. This isn't the best time to talk about it, but maybe you can tell me what you were doing on September 21st with Fat Boy. Because I imagine you and Fat Boy weren't fighting over a game of Go, were you? Thanks for the compliment. Sorry about your leg. I won't be able to enlighten you about the rest. My name is Ciel. Nice to meet you. Ciel, that explains the pink hair. And who are you? Ciel, are you messing with me? Ciel, why is your body cold? Cyborg or Biomod? Ciel, it's true that you look a little smaller than Rick. Why does Ciel explain? Oh, because it's not Rick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cyborg or Biomod? You're not a registered cyborg. I'd say you're a Biomod. Good point. I see your sensors are still working and you're rather insightful. That's good. Oh yeah, with a biomod over your whole body, I'd even guess that you're rich. Yes and no. It doesn't matter. I'm not here to talk about me. Oh, and you're here too? It's a shame because I'd like to find out a little more. Yeah. The fact that you're here is str a strange coincidence, whoever you are. I'm Rick's twin brother, and I unfortunately do not have time to have tea with you, although it would have been a great pleasure. I'm here to make you an offer, and I don't have much time. Initially it was Rick who was going to propose it to you, in a more pleasant place and under more pleasant circumstances. But we were taken by surprise, probably by the very people who started it all. Basically, the blue aura that surrounds me allows me to be here without anyone knowing, but it won't be long before the police notice I'm missing and come looking for me. I'll keep it short. I need you. We need you. We all need you. And you need us. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, my name isn't Bruce Willis. <laughs> right now, I'm the one who needs help. We gotta go with the meme answers, right? My name isn't Bruce Willis. <laughs> Actually, do you know if he's still alive? <laughs> I don't know Bruce Willis, but you can help me. There's a small artificial island east of Cape Notoro. You can see it from the shore. The path along the railroad tracks will take you to the only part of Abashiri that is not controlled by the police, Buraku. Uh, you can see the island from there. There's a flying motorcycle there. Take it and go to the island. You learn why you ended up in prison and you will help us. Now and the Burakumin will help you. Well, I hope so. I don't have time to tell you anything more than that. I have a memory card that will get you an intercom. Take it. Now, the cyborg? I don't understand a thing, but I'm gonna say yes. Uh, yeah? No? Maybe? You can keep your card and your problems. And now the cyborg? Now? Are you talking about the cyborg now? Yes, now. That's her. 
here. Take this bottle too. It will keep you going. Okay, thanks. Okay, no thanks. No. <laughs> okay, thanks. Goodbye, good luck, and don't forget. Now, the motorcycle, the island. You will find the answers to your questions there. I have to leave. Uh, wait. Faint. Or stun. I don't know. Ugh, everything is spinning. Maybe I should drink something. He's got some nerve. He just leaves me here in the lurch. Lurch? Is that how it's pronounced? He might even be the one who got me into this situation. He reminds me of his brother. But is he really Rick's brother? His body isn't biological. My senses are sure of that. And what's all this about a mysterious island? It's ridiculous. Doesn't matter. The first thing I need to do is escape. On the bright side, he didn't call the police. Then again, there's no need to, since I'm here. Or since I'm here. Or, I don't know, well, I am the police. Was, I don't know. A piece of metal! Ooh, leaking nitrogen. All right, I'll try something. Normally, since the nitrogen dissipates into the air, I'm safe. Maybe I can use it by aiming the flow from the hose directly onto my restraint. Well, that's gonna get cold and freeze your hands. But yes, it might also get more breakable, but I don't know if that would be a good idea in real life. I have to be very careful not to get any nitrogen on myself, though. I mean, but the restraints are metal-ish and they will... Oh, whatever. You do you. Bingo, I'm free. Okay. Soon to be wanted by the police, but free. I'm not going to hang around here too long. My robot friends are going to be here any minute. Achievement unlocked. Escaped from prison. Yes. Nice. All right. I've got to leave quickly before the cops get here. I don't have time to admire the landscape. Oh. But the eyes. I feel like I'm being watched. Uh, yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> I've got to leave quickly before the cops get here. I don't have time to admire the landscape. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. He US space camp? On the moon? <laughs> ah, I got another another space invader achievement for that. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, there is. Ah, I see it. There is the space invader in the pixels. All right, the moon is full. I find that soothing. But I don't think I'll feel soothed for long when the cops get here. That's well hidden. I totally didn't notice that. I was just hovering over the moon. I've got to leave quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No more landscape admiring. Got it. But, but the landscape. Blood. I lost a lot of blood. It would be good idea to find something I could use to treat myself quickly. I must leave. <laughs> um, energy drink. Drink that, please. I really need this. It'll keep me going for a while. See? Holy crap, that's strong. I feel much better, but I have to treat my wound. I've got an ugly gash on my leg. Yes, no point in trying to hide here. Memory card? I don't know what's on this card. I'm going to keep it until I know if I can use it. Okay. So can we treat our wound somehow? I guess not. <laughs> I guess I had to leave. I walked for a long time. I hope the snow will cover my footprints. I don't know if I can trust CL. I think the cops will have found me by then, but my only option is to keep going. It's too late to turn back now. Well, this is a lovely statue. An angel or an archangel. Someone's painted tears of blood. It's pretty crude, but from a distance, it's disturbing. 
The statue's hand is weird. It looks like something is missing, like it was holding something that's been taken. There's some red paint on it. I wonder who painted this statue. Old door frame. Maybe if I went through this old door frame, I would find myself in the immaterial world. Like a kind of modern Tory. What's Tory? Hm. More eyes. Haha. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. Towards the forest? I'd rather not go back there. Okay then. Tori are those red wooden gates. Ah, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. This graffito is pretty. It looks like an old ad. It's half erased, which is a shame. Phone booths. Yeah, this is a pretty retro area. Black box. There's a box, a screen, keys, a slot. I don't really understand how it works. <laughs> okay. Same thing. Just call someone. You can figure it out. Uh, this building is more intact than the ones next to it, but there's no glass in the windows or anything to keep out the cold. Don't think anyone lives in this part of town. Yeah, I mean, you never know, but these buildings appear to have been abandoned for a long time. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. Hm. Question mark. Building in ruins. Rubble. This is rubble. There's no nothing interesting in there. Dirt, stones, an old broken gate, some boards and pieces of wood. Okay. Where's the space invader? There must be a space invader in this area, right? Eh, whatever. Oh wait, there it is. No! I just left and I just saw it. I hope I can go back. Can. Uh, lucky me. Oh, and I didn't see this right part here. Cool. See? Space Invader. What's this? The way these things are stacked is funny. I'm guessing the C is that way. Hmm. Writing. It looks uh, like the same paint on the Archangel. It looks like it was painted by a child. Towards the unknown. This is an advertising poster for the former Abashiri prison. Great. This no parking sign was put here recently. There's no snow on it. This poster makes it look like a dream. Maybe it's the view from the prison. Who knows? Cape Notoro. Cape Notoro, I don't know the area. Maybe it's nearby. Uh, snowman? I wonder what the snowman is doing. Is he praying? Is he stargazing? Maybe he's dreaming about space conquest. Painted wooden heart. I'll take it. It was obviously made by a child. I can't possibly steal the snowman's little wooden heart. Why not? Hmm. Didn't cross your mind, I hope. No. <laughs> this game is made by a weeb. <laughs> So that means you will be playing it too? <laughs> the snowman even has a little table. It's cute. Chimney. There are homes under the ground. Drawing. Looks like he worships the stars too. Spider? Oh, there. Panel. I'd say that downtown is that way. What's my tasks right now, by the way? Clean my wound, treat my wound, find more discreet clothes, find a bandage, find an antiseptic, update the intercom. Okay, lots of stuff I need to do now. But I wonder, we've reached four hours now, it's almost 3 a.m. Maybe I should call it a day here and continue next time. But this is really cool so far, I mean, 
I hope it's also enjoyable to watch. I don't know. I'm really taking my time with this because I want to like find all the little details and all the little references. But I, I, yeah, I mean, the references also are so much fun in this. Um, yeah, really, really, really cool game so far. I really like it. I'm, I'm glad I decided to stream it. And yeah, I think I think I should probably end it here because while I could continue for hours, I am getting pretty tired. And yeah, I wanna wanna learn something tomorrow in university. <laughs> yeah, so I think. <laughs> wow, Anna is basically me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that was earlier. And we're having a pity party tomorrow. Yep, that as well. I don't want to be tired for that. I mean, I'm always too tired, but I don't want to be too, too tired. So, yay. I'm looking forward to that. I still need to find some confetti before, um, before we start the pity party. But that's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see who else is streaming. Um... Also, maybe let's save the game. Oh, I found a space invader. That's a... Come on, there's a space invader here. Why can't I... Oh, there's a space invader there too. There's many space invaders here. I guess it's about... I mean, there was on the first screen, there were multiple space invaders too, and only one of them was clickable. So I guess these two are not... But which ones are? Eh, uh, okay. Um, I, I, uh, I will just save. <laughs> Next time! <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone for being here and for making this stream super fun once more. I'll start the raid over to student. There we go. And yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Have a great time over there. And um, this game is really cool. Let me use the, I guess the sundew command was used recently automatically. But let me use it again. <laughs> Can highly recommend this game so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. And um, if you're a weep who enjoys, um, who enjoys point and click adventures, then I guess this game's for you. Maybe also if you're not a weep, but just uh, a regular geek. Um, yeah, that might still be for you. Let's rate Gakusei. What is Gakusei? Is that student? <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks, everyone. See you next time. See you tomorrow, hopefully, when Kit and I will prove once more that we are geniuses and candle can handle confetti but not language here we go raid goes off right now see ya